All right, so bands for the war that didn't count, Scorp, S99, and Ghost. All right, so Boss Island, Absorbing Man, you got Immortal, Abomination, Mr. Negative, Cassie, Ant-Man, Quicksilver, uh, Kingpin, Armor Burn option at a high rank uh, with a White Magneto pre-fight, JJ, Jabari Panther, Shang-Chi, and uh, Valkyrie, Bishop, an Armor Burn option again that has constant armor ups and it'll make it easier korg um omega red uh apocalypse uh even maybe toad not really uh sasquatch uh you guys have seen doom quicksilver there uh wong rolk uh or anti-venom and then infamous doom gallon uh hulkling well not hulkling uh venom venom is a very good one um one through three on the way out, Sauron, Omega Sentinel, you guys have seen pretty much any armor burn option that doesn't have energy-based attacks for basic attacks. Uh, Path one, Spam, Fury, Mole Man, Shang-Chi, uh, Man-Thing, Titania, or Mr. Negative. Path two, Mojo, Titania, Cassie, Ant-Man, and then Domino, Infamous Doom, Nimrod, Omega Sentinel, and then Super Scroll, Claire, or Cosmic Ghost Rider. Four through six on the way out, Rintra, uh, Mr. Negative, Doom, Kitty Pride, Kate Bishop on the way in, uh, any of the armor burn buff immune or uh, nullify immune, so Civil Warrior and Omega Sentinel, and then just don't rely on stun. Uh, path four, Spot, Fury, Mole Man, and then Null, Absorbing Man or Doom. Path five, Kitty Pride, Omega Sentinel, Nimrod. Chavez, you've got Mr. Negative and Titania. Path 6, Magneto, Omega Red, or sorry, not Omega Red, Omega Sentinel or uh, Nimrod, and then Doom. You've got Quicksilver, you've got Titania, you've got Cassie, Ant-Man. 7 through 9 on the way out, Hulkling, Wiccan, Rintra, uh, Tigra. Uh, Weapon X on the way in, Absorbing Man, pretty easy. Nimrod, Warlock, probably work as well. Uh, Path 7, Mole Man, Omega Red, or Apocalypse, and then with Apocalypse, Nimrod, or Omega Sentinel. Path 8, Storm Pyramid X, Nimrod, or Omega Sentinel. And then Gore, you've got Rintra, Tigra, uh, Wiccan. And then Path 9, um, Cersei, Slap On, Odin Shock Prefights, and go in with uh, Tigra, go in with uh, Rintra, go in with Wiccan. And then for uh, Jubilee, go in with the armor burn options that are half immune for the node. So uh, Viv will work, Warlock will work, uh, even Nimrod will work. One through three on the way in, future Ant-Man, you've got Hulkling and you've got Magneto. Ma, middle mini, you've got Quicksilver, Mr. Negative, Titania. Uh, Zemo, you've got Colossus. Probably even future Ant-Man. One through three on the way out. Long shot. You've got Titania, Mr. Negative, possibly even Quicksilver. Um, path one, Terax. You've got Absorbing Man. Um, could probably go with any Mystic as well that nullifies. And then uh, Magneto, you've got Omega Sentinel and Nimrod. Uh, path two, Storm. Really anyone. Uh, Nimrod, Omega Sentinel. And then uh, Spidey Supreme, Titania, or Mr. Negative, or Archangel. And then Path 3, uh, Cap Sam, Gallon, or Hulkling. 4 through 6, Jabari Panther on the way out. Any of your armor burn options that have armor ups already. So Future Ant-Man and Omega Sentinel. Void, you've got Mole Man, Fury, Shang-Chi, Path 5. Thing, your easiest counter is Valkyrie. Uh, and then you can use... Really, anyone, as long as you count rock stacks. And then um, Atuma, you've got slap on a white Magneto pre-fight and use any of the armor burn options. Um, just don't, I mean, with a white Magneto pre-fight, you won't actually do a real debuff stun. And then Gallon, uh, Wiccan, Rintra, Tigra, um, Archangel. 7 through 9 on the way out, Fury, Absorbing Man, Kitty Pride, Path. Seven um, crossbones. You've got Namor. You've got Apocalypse. 
you've got Omega Red, and then Quicksilver, you've got Fury, Mole Man, Archangel, uh, Path 8, Toad, Nimrod, or Omega Sentinel, and then Path 9, Mephisto, you've got Blade, you've got Anti-Venom, you've got Rolk, and then for Havoc, Nimrod, Omega Sentinel, Infamous Doom. So that does it for defense. Let's take a look at how attack went. All right, so War 9 doesn't matter because it doesn't count. The global got messed up. Today I'm taking in Omega Sentinel, Shang-Chi, and Mr. Negative. I end up taking Path 4 in Section 1, Path 1 in Section 2, and, a, and three mini bosses on Boss Island. So I took what was originally assigned before war was canceled because the prowess power was bugged to the original overtuned version. Um, so this war, after they got a fix out, was affected and therefore the result won't matter. So Shang-Chi here against Void, pretty easy. It's just cleanse Wushu, parry, heavy reset, and nuke him down with special twos. Um, ideally, what you want to do is have cleanses ready when you think his intimidating debuff is going to place here. He threw a special one during it. It's fine. A special, or sorry, a cleanse Wushu gets rid of it. We go into stun. We go into special two. And we finish the fight nice and easy. So, yeah. Um, next up, we take Jabari Panther on node 19 here. Kind of an aggressive prowess node. Can be kind of crazy. You guys saw me take Mole Man here last war. Jabari Panther is a bit of a different beast just because I don't have that right reliable, reliable ability to stun. Um, even though there is a white Magneto pre-fight, I choose not to use it. I choose to bait out heavies, which at the start, because I didn't duel, was a little bit rusty and slow off of her heavies. So we get attacked here, but nice thing, of course, is that we're using Omega Sentinel. So if we do catch a bleed, it just means a regen instead of a death. Um, so yeah, once we get the hang of the heavies, it ends up being bait heavies combo, full combo to remove all prowess. We found out last war that if I have five or more armor ups on myself, I can remove up to five prowess effects per hit. So that's a nice little thing to know, especially for a node like this where it's got aggressive prowess. So if it gets out of hand trying to bait out special attacks and her being stubborn, um, then we have that nice little safety net of being able to rip off all power gain pretty much in two or three hits. Um, especially for this node, obviously. So, pretty simple fight. I don't end with mediums, even though I could. The cleanse disappears before I finish my combo, so I could slap a heal block on. Uh, just did not seem worth it. Didn't seem like the proper strategy. Just felt like the proper strategy was to retaliate heavies, throw special attacks for our ebb and flow knockdown trigger, uh, and then just kind of pulverize her down. Now, with the nature of my team, it would have resulted in suicides on and off if I really cared about fights like this having that extra 60% damage. Um, but I think this would have been a fight, considering it falls between Mr. Negative and Shang-Chi fights, that I would not have turned them on. However, some of my later ones, it's going to be apparently obvious that they should have been on. So, pretty long fight. We're not max boosted either. We're missing about 25% in boost damage compared to a normal in season war so down goes Jabari Panther next path one section two spam here this is mainly what Shang-Chi came for you can take void too so here we're going to be focusing on just the slow wushu heavy resets when we are close to or ready to throw special two or sorry not the cleanse wushu the slow wushu then heavy resets when we are close to a special two and ready to throw it we're going to cleanse wushu in case we get any poppers on ourselves since spam will be get building nonsense charges as we build the special two once we get special one. So hitting him while stunned does give us poppers. Um, so cleanse into special two. And then it gets a little hairy here. He decides to light attack me and I'm not ready for it. And then throws a special two into my block. But not really a worrisome node. Um, obviously that all of that would have been an issue had we been on path 4B. Um, but spam here, pretty much a joke. Uh, it does, although, force a counter if you don't send someone that you can just spam special ones with. 
Mr. Negative War starts here with Man Thing. Would have started on 23 Mom, but I missed the opportunity. Man Thing here is just a chump with Mr. Negative. Um, taken Man Things since Mr. Negative came out on plenty of nodes that try to nullify buffs. So it's just parry heavy twice, parry evade counter, bank that light energy is dark, full combos we build a special two. Maybe bait on his special one if he decides to throw it. But outside of that, we're just going to parry heavy. Throws it here. Good. We're going to parry heavy, I believe, one more time. Then we're going to parry evade counter into special two after a combo. It's going to give us a buttload of degen since we have the Shang-Chi synergy. So that's where the additional degen ticks or debuffs came from. And then down goes man thing. Super easy fight. Next up, Sauron here on our usual 46 node high energy diet using Omega Sentinel, placing the heal block pre fight. We will not have special attacks here, so it's just maintaining a heal block debuff at all times, especially with Sauron since he has his own regen passives which count towards reinvigorate, which will lead to unblockable if we do not keep heal block on while those regens trigger. Um, so, I mean, pretty simple fight here. Full combos and with mediums. Um, I don't really focus on pausing ever. It's kind of a waste. Uh, you can actually squeeze in enough combos. And if it looks like a heal block's gonna end too soon to do a five hit combo, then you just do a medium medium or a longer but shorter combo. Um, so yeah, uh, we are on point with our special one dexes here. So that's very, very helpful. Um, and he's willing to throw them after a couple hits into his block, but power gain a little bit more compared to Bishop that we've had here. Uh, it probably has to do with the fact that it is a seven star. So some sort of combat power rate is at play here. And I don't think we've faced a rank five Bishop there and it would take a rank five to get the full combat power rate there. But easily down goes uh, Sauron. So here we experiment a little bit. I was the first on the boss island, had Mr. Negative, always thought about taking a Mystic here on MIA with Mr. Negative. Obviously the fear sometimes is unfazed, um, but I figured Mr. Negative throwing heavy attacks and special twos pretty much counters the whole falter business um, when a buff expires. So I'm treating this like a normal Mr. Negative versus Sasquatch fight. I'm going to parry heavy. I'm actually going to parry heavy three times, I think. Yep. I'm going to block bait and attack to evade counter the second hit. I'm going to combo as we build to special two. I am aware that Vigilance has triggered now that I passed a bar of power. So I'm keeping my eye on the timer, getting ready for the cooldown on me. Here I want a heavy. He backs off, so no parry. And there that parry is too late to transfer it to him. So we eat a special one. That converts our lights to dark for us. Fantastic. We throw the special two and he starts to melt. Sasquatch though, rank five and a big boy um, is not going to go down from that set of degens. It's not a big deal. While this is going on, <laughs> we're just waiting out the wrath. I evade counter there because we had built up enough light energy to get prepared for our next special two. Another Vigilance show up, shows up, so building our second set of light as we get ready for special two, number two. Here we go, block bait and attack. Oh no, wait, we're gonna parry heavy. Transfers it to him, and you're gonna see a very unique evade counter miss. So it converts it without doing the evade counter action. We go into special two. My brain actually hit like a speed bump there. I was not sure what was going on, but I went through my usual habit, habit of being attacked while faltered and then evade countering. And then here we just get messed up by a couple more falter triggers. So yeah, um, compared to any other time I've used the champion there, Mr. Negative was actually pretty chill. I was not stressed there. Decide to take this Bishop, another fight that wasn't assigned to me. We don't have a white Magneto pre-fight, so we're not gonna rely on the parry. I don't place the heal block debuff. We're not gonna place any debuffs on this. We're just gonna do full five hit combos ending in lights. Um, we're going to shorten that when Bishop gets the one bar of power so that we can push him to special two. And yeah, the repeated combo 
and everything, we strip prowess from this node like crazy with all our armor ups being an armor burn champ. So definitely here, the fight does go pretty quick. We don't throw special attacks. Um, so between that and just punching him in the face with basics, it was definitely a trigger to put full recoil on here. Uh, unfortunately, Bishop throws his special one there. I had a moment, I guess, where I had my block down or twitched backwards thinking a heavy was coming, but we avoid all incinerate damage, so that's fine. Just made the fight a little bit longer having to wait out that passive. And now we're back to the game plan. Uh, full five hit combos while he's below a bar. I don't want to push him past one. Oh, I know what happened. It was, I thought my hits were going to push him to special two and armor burn actually put him at special one. So where I wanted to bait a special two, it was a special one and he threw it. How nice of him. But that's why we want to bait the special two. It does absolutely nothing compared to what it usually does here. So yeah, definitely an in-season option. Don't need the white Magneto pre-fight. It would be nice, but not really necessary. If anything, it's just an extra 15% attack. But again, here we're not full boosted. We're missing about 25. And then suicides would add another 60. So you're looking at about 100% less attack for this node um, potential. So definitely makes that less than two minute fight a lot shorter. And then here, it, this was actually assigned to me. Um, had this war counted, this would have been a full suicide. I would have had, or full recoil, I would have had the white Magneto pre-fight placed um, just because of my experience with Civil Warrior. And it, Civil Warrior at least has a special attack or a route of power draining a lot uh, instead of it just being armor burn and Omega Sentinel just has the armor burn. I can't throw any of my special attacks due to the debuff site place. So this is pretty much the fight. So I sped it up for you. Again, between a white Magneto pre-fight boosts that aren't on and the uh, full recoil mastery, we're missing about 100% attack. So this fight does take the full five minutes. We do not solo. Uh, I think we leave him at about 30%. Um, so I think we will make that up pretty easily with those added attack bonuses so nothing special here we just combo him bait special one never really push him to special two i accidentally push him to special two once um but it's not really a big deal so anyways uh take this moment to rant it sucks that updates keep coming out with bugs that affect something like this and instead of the war season being canceled we do have somewhat of a good alternative as to being bumped in rewards at the end of the season with where we finish. However frustrating it might be that the calculations might not be right at the end of the season. And then on top of that, uh, for anyone who got banned today and are a part of the bans that have been recently going out, all I have to say is, ha <laughs> uh, And for those who are still doing sketchy, cheating things, um, you will get yours. You will get yours. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, one more week of the season, apparently. Uh, hope you guys learned something or this was helpful. I definitely enjoyed taking uh, Sasquatch with Mr. Negative, so that was pretty eye-opening. And then a couple Omega Sentinel fights that can probably assi be assigned in future wars. So, hit subscribe, give it a like. I will catch y'all at the next war.